They say in sports, defense wins championships, but does this apply in medieval peasant simulator Kingdom Come Deliverance, where you play as Henry, the son of a blacksmith who is pretty dog shit at everything he does. Despite working at the forge with his father as an apprentice, he still somehow manages to start with a maintenance skill of zero, not sure how that's even possible, and his combat abilities are even worse. What did you say? Oh, you don't believe me? Let's see some highlights of his defensive skills. You scoundrel! Oh. He's not exactly a natural. In this guide, I'm gonna show you how you can take Henry from being a pathetic loser <laughs> to a combat god just by using defense. I'll discuss the most efficient way to level the skill, some useful openings to capitalize on, and if you stick around till the end of the video, I'll show you my favorite way of using the technique. I'll leave timestamps in the video so you can find what you're looking for and navigate to it easily. Let's start with the basics. What does this skill do? Simply put, the higher the skill, the less damage you take from strikes and the higher your parry windows are for performing perfect blocks and master strikes. Skill gain can be done in a couple ways, but the best is by performing master strikes, which is a skill that can be learned from Captain Bernard as soon as the quest Keeping the Peace starts. As soon as you approach him, ask to learn the master strike and he'll give you an option of which weapon you'd like to learn this skill with. Make sure whichever weapon you select is at least at level 3. Since that's the case with my sword, that's the one I'm gonna select. Beat him in combat, and he will teach this technique to you. Enough! That will do! Now that you have it, should be easy, right? <laughs> Wrong. Well, not quite. Now you have to time the Master Trike with split second accuracy to pull it off. This can be a real pain, especially if the enemy isn't attacking in regular intervals, or is just hanging back and countering you on any offense you try to muster. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to take all the guesswork out of it. The fastest way to level this skill is actually by running. You just run. Yeah. Let me show you what I'm talking about. The enemies in this game are almost all coded to run after you and immediately attack as soon as they re-engage. You can use this to your advantage as this means you know exactly when your opponent will attack every single time. As you enter combat, disengage by holding the sprint button, run just a little way away from your opponent, quickly turn to face them, and as they sprint up to you, they will always attack at the moment they get close. After the master strike is performed, quickly disengage again and repeat the process, ensuring each and every time you get the master strike. It might take a couple of tries before you can do it many times in a row. Just train with Captain Bernard and see if you can make two full rotations around the training arena, running to each of the corners and timing the technique. Also, make sure you run just far enough away that the enemy has to actually run after you. If they simply walk or jog to you, this won't work. If you are having trouble re-engaging with your opponent after turning to face them, just lock onto them and the screen will center to them. Just watch the difference between a normal training engagement with Bernard trying to train with him properly and the one where I channel my inner Forrest Gump, turning and running and getting four master strikes off in succession in the same time. In the regular encounter, my defense went from 15 to 19. But in my hit and run tactic, it went from 15 to 36. That's over five times the skill gain. Instead of gaining four, I gained 21 points. As the skill levels, the more forgiving the timing window for this technique becomes, so you'll be able to pull it off on any enemy you encounter. But now that you know how to do it, here's some opportunities to take advantage of to make this even better. But first, if you're enjoying the video so far, please leave a like and comment down below. Thank you so much to all the new channel subscribers from my last video. The support has truly been amazing and I am so, so grateful. We smashed my last goal of 100 subscribers before the end of the year, so I'm making my new goal 500 subscribers. So please, subscribe as it really helps a small channel like mine out tremendously if you do so. I love making content like this and your support truly means a lot to me, so thank you. Now the type of master strike you perform depends on two things, which direction your opponent attacks from and the weapon you have equipped. I'm not going to go through each animation, but I will discuss the ones that you should look to capitalize on the most. If you're using a longsword, the highest dealing strike is if your opponent attacks from the top left of your screen, which causes this stab to the chest. Against lightly armored opponents, this will most likely be a one-shot kill each and every time. When using a short sword, axe, or mace without a shield, attacks coming from the bottom left will cause this quick strike to the face that will most likely take your opponents out in just a couple of hits. But without a doubt, the best master strike that can be performed is with a short sword, axe, or mace paired with a shield. Make sure the shield is on the left side of your body as you can see here, and not across the front of your body like here. If you see that it is, simply move your weapon to the left and the shield will be on the proper side. Then, wait for your opponent to attack from the top left. 
This does an extraordinary amount of damage and in the late game is almost always a guaranteed one shot kill on even the most heavily armored opponents, particularly if your weapon has a high stab rating or if you have a mace or an axe with a spike on the end. Now that you know that, a word of caution, this can also be performed on you and it does just as much damage. If you see your opponent with a shield across the front of their body like this, it's okay to attack from your top right, but if the shield is here, do not attack from that side. They can perform that same counter on you and it has made me die more times than I care to admit. Why? Because I'm stupid, that's why. So don't be like me. Be better. Now with all that covered, let's go ahead and put this into action. While this method can be used in open combat, there is a word of caution. Be careful if you're trying to use this against multiple enemies, as I learned pretty painfully in my hardcore permadeath challenge run, where I tried to run past them and just got absolutely swarmed. That guy with the pole arm is problematic. Oh! No! Yeah, that one does still sting a little bit. This is best used for single enemy encounters such as Bernard, Runt, Ulrich, or any high level enemies you can isolate, such as bandit leaders. Now I'm not by any means suggesting that this should be your only method of attack in the game. Rather, look at this as another tool to use if you're low on health or have to dispatch an enemy quickly because you're going to bleed out, get poisoned, or get surrounded by others joining the fray. Now, as promised at the start of the video, my favorite way to use this is in the Ratai Tourney. You can actually win the entire thing easily just by using the methods you learned here. Now, I know eventually you can cheese the clinch mechanic, pin them in a corner, and beat them merciless, but what about right at the start, when you can't beat them in a clinch? Any offense you try just gets blocked and countered, and the hit windows are so small you're unable to ever counter them. Well, with the hit and run tactics you've learned here, this becomes a cakewalk. I'm going to attempt to do this with my stats as low as I could get them, everything zero except for my strength at two, just to show you that no matter what point in the game you are, this method does work. The play engage, run to a corner, watch as your opponent runs at you, counter, and run to the next corner. Continue to do this until you've won the whole thing, particularly taking note of the best counter chances with the long sword and the short weapons paired with a shield. So I guess it does apply even in Kingdom Come Deliverance defense really does win championships glory to the victor henry of skeletons if you enjoyed this video or found it useful please leave a like and comment down below if you want to see more content like this subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified whenever i post thank you all so much for watching have a great day and i'll see you guys in the next one Bye bye